Hi, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Sagittarius, before I get into your mid-month reading, this is your mid-month for August until September. Uh, I'm going to tell you that there's not going to be an extension. There's not going to be a part two. I cut that out for a bit. And I have a little surprise that I tell you all about at the end of this reading. So um, please listen to that if you're interested. Um, so there's going to be a fuller reading here. We're going to dive a little bit deeper and a little bit longer into your, uh, into your energy for the mid-month August until September. We're going to start with an overall overall energy or underlying current energy to what's going on and then we're just going to clarify with more and more cards and then we get to the message so what's going on for Sagittarius please what do you have for Sagittarius mid-August until mid-September and it probably is going to play a, a role that we just stepped through the Lionsgate portal and that we just had the full moon in Aquarius that flip but sort of it doesn't really want to come out but I just want to show you go with the flow go with the flow and let things happen we have a big moon in the back there so we're right in between full moon and full moon period mid August until mid September is full moon energy until full moon energy so that's more focused on manifestation result etc etc and then the little fact that there's just a phenomenal, <laughs> I just feel like there's so much energy right now, like just really bombarding us. Um, yeah. Okay. Sagittarius, mid-August until mid-September. What do you have for Sagittarius, please? I feel it's coming on here. Friendship and a lot of growth. Wow. I just see the path leading to the golden age. So this is very much about these three women. Obviously, it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. This could be for both. Uh, we have sort of the blue face here. Blue face, literally. And the blue path. The blue face. Naive a little bit new, a little bit uh, curious and up and coming. And then we have sort of the purple face, which is more about your spiritual path, your awakening, your um, starting to be more conscious about your own, about yourself. And then we have the golden age, which is, which is basically just integrating everything you know and starting to live that path, starting to live there's also something else to the golden there. The golden age and gold in itself seems to be very important here. And I just see this very clear path here today. It's almost like we're not, we're already, we're not even interested in this part. Because like all roads lead to the golden age. It's just very, very focused in on this one. So that's the underlying current here. That's the underlying energy, which is really, really powerful, I feel. So the full story here, the full story for Sagittarius, please. What do you have for them? Wow. Sagittarius. Full story. There you go. Oh, the cards are beautiful. I feel like there's one more. I just want to show you. So the first one is two of Ariel, which is very much balancing finding that inner balance and a balancing act in life right now. We have six of Rafa, which is very much about your inner child, the curiosity of your inner child, the queen of Ariel, which is just gorgeous, the maturity, the wisdom, the consciousness, the Midas touch. This is very much about the gold as well. Like you have the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold, which means you have the golden ratio, the golden ray seems to be very important here today there you go <laughs> and new beginnings did you see how it sort of kept flying further and further up so it's like it's it's only going to get better just a feeling it's only going to get better new beginnings 2.0 the new version of you as i said that is at 444 on the clock so very much about yeah, like your heart laying a new foundation can we clarify this energy please for sagittarius we can. <laughs> it 
really talking and really like flying out. So this card just flew out. Positive movement forward. Golden boat sailing into the golden sun. And number eight there, very powerful. That's like a whole deck, so I'm going to put that back. Please just, please just give me what I can handle. It might just be a message that like the whole shebang is just coming out. There's positive movement forward and the whole thing is just coming out. So there might be a breakthrough. There might be a, the, the dams are breaking open, going through the portal. There's a lot of cards though. It's not as many that came out. Wow. That came out before as came out before, but still a lot. Wow. So we have the heart chakra, which I said four before before. So there truly, truly is all about the heart here. Um, we have the light card, which is the most gorgeous it's joy. It's manifestations. It's ooh. I do apologize. Just realized. There we go. And there might be a message to that as well. I forgot to put the power in. I forgot to like, you, the computer only runs for so long, but unless you have the, the power cord in, you know, plugged into the, to the actual electricity, you can run for so long, but it's good. You're going to run out eventually. So there's something about the connection to the connection to source here, the connection to God, the connection to your inner being, whatever you want to call it, your, your source of things. You know, so I, I have this laptop here and obviously the laptop is going to run for so long because it has been charged at some point, but it's, it's almost like Sagittarius. If you're trying to do this just all on your own, eventually you're going to run out of battery. Eventually you're going to run out of energy and electricity. So just make sure you have that connection. I have the light card here and we have the universe card. This is awareness. The connection to the universe is really, really important here. And I got a heads up. I got a warning saying your battery is almost like out. You need to plug in the. So maybe Sagittarius, you're getting a little bit of warnings. You're getting a little bit of heads up, signals, nudges that you need to go connect with source. You need to recharge your battery, so to speak. Okay. So you saw what I had there. The most like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous energy there and together with the universe card. So those are phenomenal cards. So we're starting with, remember we have the golden age, like everything points to the golden age. I'm, I'm being brought to the golden ratio. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't fully know what that is. Of course, I know what it is, but I like, I don't like the underlying meaning of it, the golden ratio. I, I just, I don't think I have the full story, like or the full understanding of it. But some of you guys might, might, and some of you might be really interested in finding that out, or that might be the path for you right now, the golden ratio, the golden path, the golden age, and you carrying this golden vibration, the golden frequency, getting into the golden fre frequency, because we have this Midas touch, feel like everything you, you touch turns to gold. You might not feel it like that right now, but you're definitely headed towards this. And if you already feel it, congratulations. So this is the underlying current. Remember that, right? And then we have two of Ariel. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So if we look closely here, we see this guy balancing on the edge and he balances yin yang with infinity. So he's, he's finding balance with infinity, but he's like on the very edge doing it. And it doesn't mean that the very edge is like you're on the verge of a breakdown or like you're on the, you're on the edge of <laughs> this might feel like, Oh my Lord, like two more centimeters to the whatever direction you're going to fall off the ledge. To me, the edge of things are just exciting and it's new and it's um, ex 
expansion. It's more of who you are. So I just feel like you, excuse me, you probably have, have been living a lot on the edge, um, are probably, I mean, Sagittarius for the longest time, I've been doing these readings where I'm not going to say I'm doing normal readings for the, for the rest of the signs, but like the moment I get to Sagittarius, it seems to always be a little bit outside the box, a little bit more metaphysical, uh, like just not the random stuff. Um, and I still would consider all the other signs to not be random stuff compared to other tarot readers or other messages out there. So you're like extra, extra much. And I think you were coming back into that. It's almost like you're starting to recognize yourself again, being the trailblazer of things and really living your life on the edge, like being the first in line for something, first in thought about something. And it's, it's exciting to be there. But right now we're working on, like you're coming into this golden age, golden ratio, and you're trying to find a balance. And this is like the yin yang, the, the real, like the dark and the light, the, the feminine and the masculine coming together for infinity. Like it's, it's really profound. Like we could talk about this for probably a couple of weeks if we wanted to. Together with six of, of Raphael, this is very much... It says, embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children and childhood. And with this six, which is love and harmony, I just find that you're just coming higher and higher up vibrationally. But you're also, if you're not, this is a heads up to just start to incorporate your inner child. If you turn a little bit too serious, Sagittarius is such a... I know I'm completely generalizing now, but it's like it feels like you don't have to take things so seriously or you don't have to be so good at everything. Does that make sense? Like you can't, it's okay to be a child sometimes. It's okay to be, um, you're not childish. You will never be childish. You just won't find a Sagittarius that's childish. It's like you, you know what it's like to just be really responsible and yeah. I just, I just think that sometimes carrying the cross, bearing the cross of being first in so many incidences, can you say that, um, can sometimes weigh a little bit heavy on you. Does that make sense? If you're like, you're the leader in, like the leader and the teacher in so many Oh, do you feel where I'm going with this? It's like, okay, sometimes Sagittarius, it just feels like, you know, so freaking much. There's so much, we had, we're, we're, you're turning into the golden, the golden age here. Like you have, you probably have, you know, crossed over to the other side a couple of times and come back. You know, stuff, you know, things, you know, the truth of the inner most innerst truth. Um, and sometimes it can be a little bit heavy to carry. Like you, you walk around <laughs> amongst normal people and you know things. And sometimes that's just really, that's really exciting. We're living on the edge and it's really exciting. And you probably, if, if you were asked, you would never trade it for the world because it is who you are and it's really, really exciting to you. Anything less than you would be bored out of your freaking mind. But every once in a while, it gets a little bit heavy and it gets a little bit lonely. It gets a little bit much to carry the weight of knowing things that you like 2% of this earth probably knows about and the rest is like quite oblivious, oblivious to it. Does that make sense? And so it's asking you to bring out your inner child. Like it's okay to every once in a while, don't have all the answers, don't know so much, don't, uh, and even though you do, it's okay to just sort of let your guard down or let your hair down or, or, or sometimes even just because you are on the very forefront of things and knowing things that you like, as you look out into the world, you just, and it's not like you're arrogant or like you're a snob or anything like, oh, you other people don't know anything. Maybe sometimes you do feel that, but like, it just feels like you look out into the world and sometimes it can be 
sort of, oh, please, please just catch up already. So for you to have a fun time with this and for you to not know so much and for you to discover new things yourself and not be bored, let your inner child come out and play. That's all. That's all. That's what Mary Streep says in The, the Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> That's all. Um, that's interesting. We have the Midas touch here. Queen of Ariel. This is like the most gorgeous thing ever. Like you just make everything more beautiful. Wherever you walk around right now, you're just probably because you're such a know-it-all. <laughs> and that doesn't mean that you're a know-it-all. It just means that you know it all. And you have like such a deep, profound understanding and deep, profound awareness that you start to become really charismatic and really magnetic and oozing electricity. So that's, ah, oh, that's so interesting. <sighs> and then the light, went, the light went down. Okay, so that's, a, that's quite a good analogy, I have to say. It's quite a good <laughs> analogy that I'm given. So if we look at the cars these days, the cars, we just keep perfecting the cars and getting more and more away from fossil, fossil fuels, is that what it's called? Um, and like more, like we're running, the cars are running basically on electricity today and like it's getting easier and easier and lighter and lighter and, and more and more like environmentally good. Maybe there's someone who's going to argue with me and say, no, it's not. Um, but like we're just refining things. It, it, things are just overall getting better and better, right? We would probably, everyone would probably agree, almost everyone, that, you know, it's nice to have these cars instead of, you know, traveling around by bike or, or horse and carriage. It's just easier, you know? But the, but the way that we refine these cars, they're, they're just getting better and better. But they only run for that long unless you plug them in and charge them. And I'm just comparing you to, to those cars. I'm just literally comparing you to those cars. You're getting more and more refined. You're getting better and better by the minute. Like you really are a rare, a rare species. You really are a Sagittarius and you're getting better by the minute. But the more refined you get, the more need for speed. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the, with the comments from movies. <laughs> the need for speed. That's Tom Cruise. Um, uh, that's all. Um, the more you need to plug in to your source. So the, the breakdown of the computer in the beginning and me just starting to talk about it and the, and the whole computer just... I don't know if that, if that, gets, if that catches on... Uh, to the camera or if it's just on my end that I see that. Um, anyway, there's this, the, the, the better you get, the more you just need to keep the connection to source. And you probably feel it. It's like you don't get away these days with being grumpy or placing judgment on someone else or, and that sucks, doesn't it? It's like, oh shoot, like I know these days it is not, it's no one else's fault, really. It's all just you and your whatever you're creating. And you these days, like maybe in the past or like when you're really young, you could be angry for two weeks and nothing really would happen. If you're angry for five minutes these days, it's almost like you get a slap in the face. Like get your shit together. <gasps> Sorry for the swearing. Um, you're getting, you're, you're reaching phenomenal status here. And that, and people sense that, and you probably will start to sense that. Like you're starting to attract really beautiful things. You might be a little bit, uh, I just got, so if you're, if you're not agreeing with me here, you just said in spit, that's so charming. Um, it might be that you're just, you feel it energetically. You almost like, it's almost like you say, I know that, I know, I, I agree with everything you say. So why isn't it like, why aren't those opportunities bombarding me? Why am I not the richest person in the world? Why am I not so in love? Like you sense it, it's there and you feel your consciousness, you feel your awareness. 
You know, you know this type of living, the living on the edge. You're getting there. It's new beginnings. It's a 2.0 version of you. It's an upgrade. Things has been going on. Things has been going on, that's for sure. For the last couple of years, there's been probably one challenge after the other. Maybe even a big breakdown at some point, a big breakdown, almost like a reboot or starting over. That's why I say some people maybe have even like crossed over a couple of times and come back. Yeah, I could, I could go so much deeper into that, but I, and that's not what this story, this story is not about that today, but I just really feel that there are some guys out there that really, yeah. Uh, anywho, new beginnings. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. And you know that the past needed to take place. You know that things happen for you to, for you to refine your craft. Maybe redefine your craft. Maybe uh, just polish yourself. And you're going to come into these new beginnings. We had the positive movement forward, which, which is also the, the golden age, sailing off into the golden sunset or sailing off into the go golden sunrise. It's like you're setting out on this journey now. It probably has felt like a journey before, but the journey has, has been to keep your head above water, to survive, to trying to understand what the heck is going on maybe feeling like you're taking on more than you can handle or more than you can chew but now it's like you're going on this journey i'm getting goosebumps you're really going on this journey and you're like so ready for it and it's the golden journey it's the golden age you're ready for the good stuff eight is power and strength it's infinity again you have that infinity sign right there remember um yeah, it's a lot about infinity. It's a lot about understanding the longevity of things, the never-endedness of things. Even though we change physically every once in a while, you know, the longevity of the energy is just always there. And you've tapped into this other side of things in, in a way better place. And then these three come out together. Heart chakra, light, and awareness. It's just phenomenal. <laughs> like the strength, the power of these cards is just the heart chakra. Like coming from the heart, learning to really live with a heart vibration, not coming from your mind anymore or from your brain anymore. Like your brain are actually getting signals or messages from your heart. It feels like it's the brain starting it at all, but it's like actually the heart that is the little, you know, the instigator with the light card I'm going to read both the light and the awareness light card reaching higher and you're starting to embrace it you're starting to incorporate it you're starting to integrate it with the awareness card which is like you're so in contact with your source if you're not you're being asked to um, so we're starting with the light 19. This card reassures you that this is your time to be in the light. No matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. Listen to that again because it felt really important. No matter what's going on around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. Okay, Sagittarius, so if you're having a little bit of a hard time right now, or you like I said, you don't understand why it's not, why it's not better than it is because you feel like it, then just be patient. Just hang in there because it's going to turn around for you. The qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth, a constant renewal of life. This is one of the best this is one of the best, if not the most positive cards in the deck, and it's yours. This is now your moment to shine. 
the radiance from, I don't know why I want to cry, but I just feel like I want to cry for you because probably <sighs> right there, that breath, like probably this has been quite the journey up until this point. Or you might even have like the, cro the feeling of the crossing over every once in a while, the feeling of wanting to give up might have been very present. And I'm so happy you did not because this is your time. This is your, this is the golden age. You're, you're going to, you're going to be so freaking happy you decided to stay. Or you're going to be so freaking happy you decided to turn your life around to, to just consciously just work towards more positive shifts because here's your, here's your tax return <laughs> coming in. Here's justice to you. This is now your moment to shine. The radiance from within will be there for all to see. I'm, I, just, I just really want to cry for you. I just really feel this one. The radiance from within, man, <clears throat> will be there for all to see. As people become attracted to these race, that's what I was talking about. Like you're so freaking strong. You're so refined fine-tuned that like you're going to be such a magnet for other people the radiance from within the golden rays uh will be there for all to see as people become attracted to the rays of your spiritual light and by being compassionate generous inspiring and a leader many will benefit as they feel the warmth emanating from you be discerning, but also be open to whatever or whomever you're attracting, for your rays reach far and wide. The light card reminds you that because of its power, nothing remains in the dark. Through its illumination, truths and certain paths before you begin to emerge and can be surely seen. Using the energy of positive thoughts and continu continually thinking about the happiest and most joyful of memories will light the path before you even more brightly and attract exactly what you're emanating. Keep on shining. And I don't know what, for some reason, I just want to say, as much as you're getting your good karma, other people are getting their bad karma. And it's not like, uh, we're going to send them to you know where. <laughs> And like, I'm going to be, you know, in vengeance or I'm going to feel like I'm going to revenge them or whatever. It's not about that. It's just law. It's just universal law that whatever you've been sending out, whatever you've been doing for the past couple of years is now going to come back to you. And whatever other people have done in their life and sending out is now going to come back to them. And there's something about, okay, you're getting your karma in the most beautiful way and others are having theirs. And maybe not so beautiful, but what they have been sending out or done. Okay. The awareness card, number one. And this is probably the last message here. Uh, this card is one of the key reminders that you already possess all the tools to guide and direct you in your life. Whether it's wisdom, intuition, psychic skill, creativity, self-motivation, love, willpower, physical ability, or just pure courage, they're all a part of you. Once you learn to tap in and use them, you'll be amazed by the power and effect that they can have. <clears throat> you have the ability to allow the universe to work in partnership with you. Together you can manifest change, whatever the desire may be, and bring about a positive outcome. This card represents your ability to create your, your own reality, to set ideas into motion and watch them grow. Uh, this card is often drawn when you're ready to switch direction. Yes, you're setting on, on out on this path now. You're ready for this journey. This card represents your, uh, sorry. This card is often drawn when you're ready to switch directions, start new project or change careers. Now is the time to use positive thoughts, visualizations and affirmations as you veer away from negativity. Knowledge is power and can lead to success.
by having faith, keeping your willpower strong and directed, and by tapping into the tools that you possess. As well as calling on the magic from the universe, you can accomplish anything and everything you set out to do. And you know, this is the magician and this is the sun in the traditional tarot. That's what I have for you. That is phenomenal, Sagittarius. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this reading. That's what I have for you. I want to end this um, reading here today with just letting you know that the reason why I'm cutting the extensions, at least for a while, let's see how long I can do this or how long it feels. As long as it feels fun, I'm going to continue to do it and not too overwhelming. I'm going to start to do private readings personal readings. I already do them in Swedish and I tried for a little bit of time for a, for a little group and in English and it feels, it felt good to me. So I now want to offer it to the whole channel. So if you're interested in that, if you find that like inspiring anyway, everything you know, need to know about it is in the description box down below. So go read about it and, and send me a message if you want to. Other than that, thank you so much Sagittarius for being here for showing up and watching these uh, videos with me. I really appreciate it. Bye guys.